Rising concerns this morning about security lines at airports as the summer travel season gets closer. Checkpoint lines are getting twice as long at some airports around the country. The TSA chief is in Seattle today to meet airport officials after wait times got so bad that they may replace his agents with private security screeners. Chris Van Cleve is at Washington's Reagan National Airport on another busy morning there. Chris, good morning. I've noticed myself that the lines have gotten longer. They definitely have, Nora, although good morning. Don't let this line fool you. There is major concern this morning from airlines, airports, and flyers about what the summer travel season will look like based on what they saw during the spring break rush. It caused major backups from airports from Carolina to California and now mounting calls for the TSA to fix the problem now. Extremely long TSA lines and wait times hitting up to 90 minutes caused spring break chaos. American Airlines says in just one week last month, nearly 6,800 passengers missed their flights because of those long lines. At Seattle Tacoma International Airport, or SeaTac, the waits stretched over an hour. SeaTac's airport director announced Tuesday the hiring of private contractors to help with administrative duties, freeing up the TSA to focus solely on screening as the airport explores dropping the agency altogether. We're going to investigate what it would take to privatize. We're looking at other airports that have been private, that have privatized. 22 U.S. airports, including San Francisco and Kansas City International, use private firms for security screening. Nationally, the number of Transportation Security Administration screeners is down 15 percent since 2011, and the agency has been taking fire from Congress. We have a problem at SeaTac. Major airports across the country tell CBS News they've seen their security wait times swell. The lines at Phoenix Sky Harbor can be 45 minutes or longer. In Atlanta and Minneapolis St. Paul, you could clock nearly an hour before TSA inspects your carry on. We have very high passenger volumes right now. TSA Administrator Peter Neffinger. You have many airports expressing discontent with the pace at which screening is happening. Uh, I do have concerns about, about long wait times because it does, it does gather people up. And in addition to being an inconvenience for the traveler, which is no small problem, uh, it does propose a potential challenge with respect to large crowds of people. Earlier this year, the nation's busiest airport, Atlanta Hartfield Jackson, fed up with a TSA that is woefully understaffed, said it is considering privatizing the security screening process. We're working very hard to dramatically improve our ability to move people through, shifting uh, resources uh, to the highest volume airports, front loading our, our, our hiring to those airports, training more people than we've, than we've ever trained before. So how did we get here? One, the number of flyers has grown substantially over the last couple of years. The TSA has shifted its focus to enhanced screening at the checkpoint instead of efficiency of moving people through the lines. Also, the number of screeners is capped by Congress. Administrator Neffinger says the agency is hiring as fast as it can for open positions, but acknowledges he may have to go back to Congress to ask for more screeners. So, Gail, bottom line, particularly as the summer approaches, people may have to just leave more time at the airport so they don't get a window seat at the terminal. Yeah, boy, pack your patience. It is frustrating, but it's so very necessary. Thank you, Chris. <laughs>